let's arc this baby. Tim, take down the lights. Three, two, one. Hey, it's Joel Walsman, CEO and Master Electrician of Jefferson Electric. I'm standing at the base of our utility pole. We're going to talk about arc flash safety, risk, in a couple of minutes here. At the top of this pole is three-phase power. That's insane juice coming down through one four-inch PVC riser, approximately 100 feet underground, to our dedicated utility transformer. The service in question today is a 400 amp, three phase, 120, 208 volt service with a ton of potential behind it. The fault we're going to experience is probably going to exceed 2000 amps. Let's take a look at a couple factors. This is our utility transformer. It has a primary side, probably operating at 13,000 volts, and a secondary side, which is the customer side of 120, 208, feeding underground to our 400 amp service right here. Now we're here at the electrical service, about 35 feet from the transformer. Risk factor decreases over distance. Your parts and pieces, if you were to explode, would all stay within the same county. Let's take a look inside. Now we're inside at the three phase 200 amp panel. This baby's energized. A fault in here would be much less explosive. However, the risk of cardiac arrest, still quite possible. We're gonna energize this breaker and see a 2000 amp fault. That's a 60 amp breaker, but due to the speed of electricity, it fails in a much more dramatic fashion. And that's why I'm wearing all this. Check it out. Wait a second, before we get going here, let's talk about the PPE real quick. On the underside, I've got this sweat control, thousand volt rubber gloves, leather overall protectors, I've got the smooth dome, with the complete arc flash face shield. I've got the neck guard, it's gonna get pulled up like this. Safety glasses with side shields. 12 cal suit, could be wearing the boot covers. And of course, I didn't forget my dielectric beard grease. No, that's a joke. Three, two, one. Okay, here goes three, two, one. Wow, they welded that time. They're stuck. Three, two, one. Oops. Wow, Woo! <laughs> that was amazing, look at that. It did, it got so hot, it started to melt the leather gloves. Well not, I mean, a little bit. It didn't burn me. Oh, is that the... Uh... Yeah. Look, the whole length. We melted the whole thing. It turned into a freaking heat element. Look, the whole way. Wow. Look at that action. What happened? Sick, bro. <laughs> the 18 gauge conductor hooked up to a dead short and a 60 amp breaker turned into a thermal event and essentially a 50 foot long heat element. And that was the most impressive sound we've heard today. Wow. That is the nature of the thermal event. Literally melted the insulation along the length of the conductor. Wow. I want to know what the temperature on that baby was. This insulation is rated up to the boiling point. So effectively the entire conductor far exceeded that instantaneously with that dead short. It took about a half a second to melt, blow, and sever the circuit. And it tripped the 60 amp breaker. I'm impressed. Okay, three, two, one. 
Ah, nothing.